Some 22 million Americans lost their jobs in March and April after the pandemic hit this country. About half of them have been rehired or gotten new jobs. But many others are still struggling for new roles in a very tough job market. Here are some of their stories. For work, I was an event coordinator. I have been a bartender for 10 years. I thought my job was uh, very safe. It was the hospitality industry. I was a flight attendant for six years. It was announced that, you know, everything's closing. Now it's affecting everything. I was like, how am I going to survive? I kind of decided that maybe it was time for me to kind of move on. And I'm just working on building my drone photography business. I got on LinkedIn, I got on Instagram, I got on Facebook, and just started looking for opportunities. We've been working for the same company for 20 years, so it's a whole new experience to be in the job market. I decided to go ahead and officially make the career change, um, but I have to say I'm finally thriving. I do real estate full-time now. I think the uh, anxiety of you failing when the world has stopped um, kind of goes away because you're just like, well, everybody else is in the same position. We gotta remember this is not forever, but this is the opportunity to come back with more passion and more like less for life, I think. Stephen and Jenna have transitioned into new careers, but like many people, Scott and Christina are still looking for the right job. A new survey out this morning from LinkedIn reveals 84% of people who lost jobs in the pandemic say there is a negative stigma to being unemployed. And 67% believe that that stigma affects their ability to be hired. LinkedIn Editor-in-Chief Dan Roth joins us now with the tales of this survey that you'll hear first on CBS This Morning. Dan, welcome. Nice to see you. Um, this is a really tough Thanks time. For having me. This is a really tough time for people, as we saw. We heard Scott, who's been in the same company 20 years, feel like he's got a whole new experience. Um, you surveyed 2,000 people um, who, who lost their jobs during the pandemic. How are those folks feeling right now? Well, the number one thing that they're feeling is is fear and anxiety, which, of course, you are if you don't have a job right now. And I think th then if you look deeper into the numbers, the other things they're feeling are embarrassment and uh, they're ashamed of not having a job. And an amazing 46 percent said they have lied about being unemployed. Um, there is this stigma that being unemployed, that looking for work is something to be embarrassed about, that it's going to hurt you. And I think if there's one takeaway from this survey, it's that that, that stigma is unfounded, that that is not yeah. something that is true. People do not mind if you are unemployed. Yeah, Dan, I'm surprised at that because because with so many people going through this at the same time, and it's obviously, it's, it's, it's nobody's fault. It's just what happened. I, I, the embarrassment surprised me. I thought there would be some comfort in knowing that so many others were going through it. Well, I think that we've all heard that adage, you know, that you the best way to find a job is by having a job. And I think yeah. there is this sense that like, oh, I've got to keep working. I'm only going to get I'm only going to get my next job if I if I'm already currently employed. But we we talked as part of that survey. We talked to hiring managers. Ninety six percent of hiring managers yeah. said they would hire someone who was unemployed. Mm -hmm. So that stigma is, is something we put on ourselves that doesn't have to be there. Yeah. What are the hiring managers looking for right now? Uh, well, number one, they're looking for skills. They want to show that they want to see that you have a uh, that you have the skills that they need for these jobs. They want to see resourcefulness. So, just showing that you're doing something, even if you don't have work, if you are gaining skills, if you are uh, taking classes, if you are volunteering places, all of those are really important. You have to show that you are doing something with your time. So being able to explain it. And then you need to show uh, what you are, how you think. And I think a lot of hiring managers, they want to make sure they're hiring the best candidates. They look at your profile. They see where you've worked. That's important. They look at your skills. But they want to know what's going on in your head. And so the more you're posting, the more you're talking about what you are, uh, what you're good at, um, what you've learned, how you think, that all gives them a sense of what you're going to be like in the workplace. Yep. So they want to see that you are about 48 percent said they look at public posts to oh, make a determination of whether this is someone they want to bring in. Quickly, Dan, if you're if you're in one of those hard hit industries, aviation, hospitality, how do you make a pivot at this point? Uh, number one, know what your skills are. Don't be. Make sure that you understand what you're good at. So one of my favorite uh, examples is uh, of, of these transferable skills is I talked to an insurance company at one point. They said that when they are trying to hire insurance adjusters, they try to hire bartenders because bartenders have a skill of getting people to tell stories. Yeah, so great. you have these skills. Know what your skills are. Build right. those skills. Make sure that you're that you're out there. Dan Roth, thank you so much.